In Money Matters, the Ringling Brothers Circus prepares to say goodbye. And Wall Street, gets, Wall Street rather, gets ready for the latest jobs numbers. Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. Happy Friday to you. So what is this about Wall Street ending the week with some important jobs numbers? What do we expect? Oh, it is a jobs day today, so in less than an hour, we will get the latest numbers from the Labor Department. Now, we expect job creation to rebound from March. If you remember, we had just a paltry number of jobs created during the month of March. We think the unemployment rate will hold steady at 4.5%. Now, if the number's strong, that almost certainly will seal the deal for an interest rate increase in June. So we get those numbers 8.30, so less than an hour. It's the worst kept secret in Jacksonville, but at least now it's confirmed. <laughs> Talking about Amazon. Another Amazon facility, so it uh, will operate a sortation facility out of Jacksonville's Westside Industrial Park. Biz Journals nailed the information down by looking at the permits online. Uh, Amazon likes Jacksonville. This latest move uh, does continue a wave that started in 2016 when it announced two distribution centers. Of course, thousands of jobs created as well for the local economy. So, Jane, a lot of people employed by CSX here in our city. It's made a decision now on workforce facilities. Well, it's been going through, of course, a lot of changes lately, and there was speculation that CSX would consolidate its entire Jacksonville operation into the downtown property that it already owns, but that can be put to rest. The Fortune 500 company has signed a lease at a South Point office building, according to the Jacksonville Business Journal. And the Ringling Brothers Circus has its final curtain call this weekend. Well, they're coming up over the next couple of weeks, so there's two left. And the one this weekend is in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, but certainly the end of an era. And then in a couple of weeks, Ringling Brothers will have its last show ever. So that will happen in New York. Uh, this will Both of these shows, by the way, will be broadcast on Facebook Live. All right, Jane, thanks. Have a good weekend. Yep.